The little Villa Alvarez slowly awoke on a bright Sunday morning in preparation for yet another day of prayer and fellowship, the chapel bell, housed in an old edifice with enormous stained glass windows and stone walls covered with moss, beckoned the faithful to mass with the exception of the unexpected presence that would soon shatter the community's tranquility, it was just another day, while getting ready for the celebration. Father Lorenzo, a kind-hearted middle-aged man with gray hair, noticed a disturbance coming from the front door, it was Leo, the town's most famous stray dog, who, in contrast to his normally composed demeanor, came into the church with a flurry of excitement, the dog bolted toward the altar and started barking hysterically, his attention focused on the recently delivered statue of Mary to the chapel, Leo, what ails you, startled by the dog's distress. My buddy Father Lorenzo inquired, naturally, Leo did not reply, but his actions were more than adequate. The devout started to grow restless and whisper among themselves about the peculiar conduct of the dog, a woman in her eighties murmured, this is a bad omen, and made the cross, it must be, remaining composed, a young man countered that there might be a reasonable explanation, perhaps an animal had taken up residence there, in an attempt to regain control. Father Lorenzo went up to Leo and tried to soothe him with tender words and touches, Leo, please settle down, nothing in this place has the ability to harm you, but Leo remained uneasy, he kept barking, his intense eyes locked on the monument with a perception that seemed to be beyond human comprehension, a young mother said to her kid, maybe he sees something we don't see, and she hugged him more, the chapel became more tense as the faithful alternated between being curious and irritated, while some advocated for Leo's removal, others stood up for the dog, arguing that his response might be a sign from God, let us proceed with our mass now. Father Lorenzo called out, attempting to cut over Leo's barking and the murmuring of the assembly, I ask you to keep faith and calm, but even with the mass that followed Leo's event, the Alvarez community was shrouded in mystery, what was supposed to be just another devotional Sunday turn became the curtain raiser for a day that would ultimately test everyone's togetherness and faith. The villagers' major conversation topic was Leo's actions, the significance of the response was hotly debated. In the homes and on the streets, do you think Leo sensed something bad coming from the statue, inquired Maria, the bakery's owner, to a customer while she was preparing fresh bread, the customer took the bread and gave the chapel across the street a thoughtful look, I don't know, but animals have acute senses, maybe she's trying to alert us to something, the customer said, after mass, Father Lorenzo was by himself in the chapel, gazing with a mixture of awe and doubt at the statue of Mary, he spoke more to himself than to the picture before him, what are you hiding, my saint, Leo's entrance inside the Alvarez chapel and his strange response to the statue of Mary signaled the start of a sequence of events that would uncover long-kept truths and put the bravery and faith of the town's residents to the test, what had started off as a calm Sunday turned into the setup for a mystery that would entail the entire town searching for answers. Alvarez's calm was replaced in the days that followed by a restless mood, the event involving Leo in the chapel was not disregarded, rather, it turned into the focal point of a flurry of discussions and conjectures that swept across the town's homes and streets, Father Lorenzo, meantime, was more and more plagued by uncertainty and worry, wondering where the statue came from and what it might be concealing, one evening, by candlelight. Father Lorenzo was going through old chapel records when he came upon a brief note concerning the statue's arrival, it said little more than that it had been presented anonymously who would be willing to make an anonymous donation of a statue, and why, he pondered, feeling burdened by his obligation, Father Lorenzo convened a conference with some of the most powerful Alvarez locals in an effort to find answers among them were Sophia, the chapel choir director, Juan the blacksmith, and renowned educator Clara. They talked about whether it would be possible to look into the statue's history and the cause of Leo's. Actions, Leo was still lurking around the chapel this morning when I saw him, it seems like he's keeping watch, Sophia said, her voice fretting, animals see the world differently than humans do, Juan said, thoughtfully crossing his arms, there has to be a reason why Leo is acting this way, I agree, replied Father Lorenzo, and I fear that if we do not discover what is happening, the peace of our community could be threatened. The resolution made at the end of the discussion was to thoroughly inspect the statue for any anomalies and, if needed, seek the advice of a sacred art specialist, in the hopes that this may provide some insight, 
Father Lorenzo further promised to make an effort to learn more about the anonymous gift as the investigation into the monument developed over the next few days, odd things started happening in Alvarez, the cattle on Mr. Antonio's farm, which produces the most milk in the area, were sick without warning despite being well-maintained, Dona Teresa's crops, which were renowned for their richness, displayed signs of plague, the neighborhood was in disarray, and many people started to believe that the statue and Leo's warning had anything to do with these unfortunate occurrences. Some murmured in the night's shadows, it's a curse, while others cried out for an immediate fix to bring the village's peace back. Father Lorenzo tried to be calm and collected, but he could not help but feel his anxiousness mounting, superstitions might easily escalate into terror and he was determined to find solutions before the anxiety multiplied, Leo observed from outside one foggy afternoon when Father Lorenzo and a few volunteers started closely inspecting the statue, running their hands over its surface to check for any anomalies, Clara felt a tiny dip beneath her fingers when she examined the statue's foundation at that moment. When she got closer and touched the spot Clara had pointed out, Father Lorenzo could feel a difference in the stone's texture, a tiny, Nearly invisible crack appeared to have been expertly covered up at the statue's base, now what, Sophia inquired while casting a worried and expectant glance at the father, Father Lorenzo retorted, we will need the appropriate tools to investigate this further, with a determined tone, something tells me that we are about to discover what Leo has been trying to alert us to, the people of Alvarez did not know that they were about to make a discovery that would forever alter their perception of, their chapel, their religion, and the enigmatic relationship between Leo and the statue of Mary, as they prepared to investigate the secret concealed in the statue, Clara, Juan, and Sophia were among Father Lorenzo's group of volunteers who assembled in the chapel at twilight after acquiring the required equipment, Leo stood outside, studying the scene with interest as though he understood the significance of it all, while sunlight streamed through the stained glass windows, illuminating them. Interior with brilliant hues, they started carefully filling in the crack that Clara had found, a secret chamber at the statue's base became visible when they removed the top layer, to everyone's surprise, they discovered a little wooden chest that was obviously purposefully placed despite its signs of wear and tear, one mumbled, this is incredible, with his eyes grew wide with shock, who would have placed this here, and why? With shaking hands, Father Lorenzo unlocked the casket to expose a collection of antiquated documents and a metallic device that seemed to be an old exorcism cross. Written in exquisite calligraphy, the papers told tales from Alvarez's previous father about a string of mysterious incidents that destroyed the town centuries earlier and were ascribed to a malevolent force reading over Father Lorenzo's shoulder, Clara observed, this explains Leo's reaction, she had to sense that darkness around her, according to the records, the exorcism cross was used to drive out the evil force and the objects were then concealed inside the statue to keep evil from coming back. As a result, the Mary statue guarded Alvarez silently from any powers that would try to disturb its tranquility, Father Lorenzo and the people concluded that the current unrest might be an indication that the evil force was trying to reappear after discovering the chest and its contents, they now understood that the evil the statue formerly held was what was causing the issues, not the statue itself. They called all the villagers to participate in a blessing and exorcism ceremony held in the chapel, determined to keep the village safe, everyone in attendance showered Leo with admiration and praise as a distinguished visitor since he had been aware of the concealed threat, the air in the chapel on the night of the ceremony was heavy with both optimism and apprehensive expectation, as the community prayed, Father Lorenzo led them in prayer enlisting divine protection from the powers of evil that endangered their tranquility while donning the ceremonial garments a sudden storm. With lightning lighting the sky and thunder booming appeared to match Father Lorenzo's remarks when they were saying the exorcism prayers, Leo sat serenely beside the altar, taking in everything with a serene look, the ambience in the chapel gradually changed as the service went on, the shadows of doubt and dread vanished as a sense of lightness and tranquility enveloped the room. The storm outside abruptly passed when Father Lorenzo finished the prayers, leaving a sense of tranquility in its aftermath. In the days and weeks that ensued, Alvarez witnessed a rebirth of community and faith, the village's issues vanished, and everyone felt incredibly grateful to Leo for his loyalty and insight in shielding them all from an unseen threat. When he thought back on the incidents, Father Lorenzo was filled with awe and respect for the wisdom and mystique of the divine creation. 
realizing that even the most lowly creatures can serve enormous purposes as a hero to the community, Leo represented the relationship between the supernatural and the material world and served as a reminder that faith, in all its manifestations, had the capacity to bring people together and provide protection, with its statue of Mary still standing, the Alvarez Chapel came to represent resistance and hope against the powers of evil, it also served as a beacon of hope for everyone in the community who sought solace in their faith, Alvarez flourished by unity and love, favored with a perpetual tranquility that echoed the prayers of its forefathers, for the hamlet, the exorcism ritual in Alvarez's chapel signaled the start of a new chapter, the people, led by Father Lorenzo and guided by Leo's protective instinct, had shown courage and faith in driving out the demonic presence that had threatened the community's peace and harmony, the chapel, which had been cleansed and consecrated, was once again a haven of hope and comfort, a guiding light for everyone who sought solace and direction. There, life in Alvarez blossomed like never before in the months that followed, the villagers were happy and grateful, the harvests were bountiful, and the animals flourished, the town became a destination for people looking to attest to the strength of faith and divine intervention as word of the war against the demonic presence and the triumph gained spread, legends grew around Leo, the courageous dog who had been instrumental in keeping the community safe living in Alvarez, his name was A. Byword for bravery, devotion, and the enigmatic link that unites the sacred and the human, wherever he went, the kids trailed behind him, and the grown-ups showed him tenderness and restrained reverence after giving the incident some thought, Father Lorenzo made the decision to write up the whole tale in a new book that would be preserved in the chapel as evidence of the Alvarez community's resilience in the face of evil, Father Lorenzo wished for Leo's teachings, vigilance, faith, and unconditional love, to be remembered by future generations, the Alvarez community assembled in the chapel one day for a unique ceremony honoring Leo on a gorgeous autumn afternoon, the inscription on a plaque that was placed in the chapel garden read, To Leo, the guardian of Alvarez, whose bravery and love protected us, may his tale give us all courage and faith. Everyone in attendance had intense emotion during the event, Father Lorenzo blessed the plaque and, by extension, all the towns. Residents for their strength and unity, bringing tears of gratitude and joy together, the statue of Mary still stands in the center of Alvarez, serving as a reminder of the town's transition from darkness to light as well as a representation of the Mother of Christ, the monument stood silently like a protector of the legends, mysteries, and healings that had taken place in that hallowed location. The town's heritage of bravery, faith, and camaraderie was weaved throughout time by the tales of Alvarez and Leo, the town persisted in thriving like a haven of serenity and hope in a frequently turbulent world, a testament to the fact that light can arise even in the darkest of circumstances when it is led by faith and unwavering love, Father Lorenzo and Leo continued to be a source of inspiration for anybody in need of inspiration, serving as a constant reminder that God is present even in the most basic acts of bravery and love.